Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Bragia. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. We are not sponsored by G Fuel. However, we would be open to a sponsorship by G Fuel. At yeah. this point, I'll just take a G Fuel. That would, no, I'm so <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> it's been a big day. Big day. How and a big week actually. But um, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. Brag, how was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah, playing Valmonica on Master Jewel. Goes okay. Goes okay. Especially now, like because yeah, Snake Eyes just the amount of consistency that it dropped down. I don't want to play Fire King, therefore have to move on. Oh, have to move on to the clearly third best deck of Valmonica. <laughs> That's not the concept. Yeah, look, I'm more than more than okay with just going with the deck you vibe with. It's like Exo Sister, but can see a bit better. I don't know what Valmonica does. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, <laughs> TCG wise, I bought Valmonica. Uh, I missed out on all the pre-orders and stuff. I assume we'll get to that. Yeah, chill week, chill week. Mainly Pokemon. Yeah, lots of that. Ben. Um, okay, so Ben's world. Ben's I went to just, locals. Just week. I don't, don't want the whole thing. I went to locals on Tuesday. Uh huh. I did pretty mediocre. I played Infernoid, um, but I didn't want to play none of that Snake Eyes stuff. <laughs> Turns out that Snake Eyes stuff makes it real it's good. It's real good. <laughs> See, I was in a world of four brains. One brain said 40 cards only, no playing above 40 cards. Mm. The second brain said if you play Snake Eyes, uh, then you, what's the point of playing like full Infernoid? Because you can just normal summon Snake Eyes Ashes, turn skip, Calamity Lock. At this point, Valmonica only needs two brains, by the way. No, no I need four brains to a theory craft. 40 cards make. and no Snake Eyes. So at this point, the, the third brain was like, okay, so we're playing pure Infernoid. Uh, realistically, this would be good if we're playing it above 40 cards, but no, 40 cards. The first brain said 40 cards, therefore mm-hmm. 40 cards. And then the fourth brain said, what have we opened in Onunku and Deviati in literally every hand I drew? Hmm. And that was it. Those were the four brains of Infernoid. Um, so I went 2-2 wasn't horrendous like oh no actually no i went i went three one ah yeah that's not ideal um i must have watched you in the only game that you won then wait did you say three one oh wait three? yeah sorry no. one three or three one i know went two one. Oh, what happened in the fourth so because three, it was only three uh, rounds yeah. because oh. harry lost so you went next one so you had an extra brain for yeah the- well, so you have a surplus of brains per round. Yes, I did. Um, which came up a lot when I realised how fucking good Infernoid Flood is. Um, also, when I realised that Promethean Princess is a fiend. So you can resolve the spell from Grave with yeah. Promethean Princess on the field. And you just win when you do that. It's just game over. If you do it, huh. you've won. <laughs> because it's already a turn where you can attack your opponent because... The spell has to be used a turn after it's sent to grave. But I like committed all my resources to getting a princess and then went and put them all back. Make flood. I summon banish. Off we go. Um Good times. Good times. Um We haven't got played in other locals yet, uh, because we're recording this slightly early. Uh, mm. because two fifty nine. Yes. I'll have a live stream tomorrow night when we're recording the podcast we'd normally be recording the podcast it'll be last night yes yes he will be recording a live stream last night yes i'll be opening product um however i don't know how that went yet so hopefully it went well it did go really well so well that i'm gonna need to buy a bunch of other pre-orders because it was a fucking disaster (laughs) you go on the full case or you full case Okay, send it. Yes. My week. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, so still on tier in uh, the real world currently. Um, I did plan on playing a different deck. You say and I was still on tier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I don't yeah, recall yeah, last week yeah, of the podcast you mentioning you were on tier. Yeah, you did, didn't you? Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe I thought there was a bit of tier talk. Maybe I just yeah. Forgot. How do you not remember my week? Actually, you barely remember your Tuesday. I'm not sure you actually remembered what you played on Tuesday. I got there. It all blurs together. 
anyway, so it's still a lot to you, uh, because after ferreting through commons uh, all week, <laughs> I couldn't find like two of the cards that I needed to make the deck work the way I wanted to. What do you mean? Um, well, I found them now, so it's oh, all okay. good. Uh, so the weekend has been a bit of a, a hurdle. Hmm? What did you need? I needed a uh, Schuberta and a Manadium Reframing. Oh. He didn't know that it was called Manadium Reframing. He told me it was Manadium Refrain. So I said, that card doesn't exist, Jake. Blah, because blah, blah, if you blah, search blah, Reframe blah, 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 in the blah, blah, database, blah, blah. nothing comes up. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so then he ended up getting the Refrain. Well, you have to type me. the whole word? You just can't type half a word? It was the E, because Reframe Ming doesn't have an E. I didn't know Reframe how to, has an E. I didn't want to look up how to spell Manadium, so I was just searching Reframe. Oh yeah, Reframe doesn't have an E. Yes. yes. Welcome to English. Anywho, um, ended up getting the Schuberta from him, and I got the uh, Manadium Reframing from the OTS, because apparently it got a super reprint. Um, that I pulled. He yeah. got them both from me. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we'll be putting that deck together soon, and we'll see how trash it is. Well, that deck is going to be pretty good. I hope so. Anyway, um, and then, yeah, been uh, fucking around a little bit in Master I got to the uh, Master Proficiency level 15 the other day. I was very happy about that. I don't, I don't know what that is. That. No, there's little tests you can do. No. Well, there's little tests you can do. Okay. And the more things you complete, the more levels you go up. And 15 is currently, at time of recording, the highest. I think I remember at one point I did something and it propped that up. And I was like, I'm ignoring this. <laughs> That's fair. Look, it's just a little, it's a little side quest and you know I'm all about the Master Duel side quests. What about the main quest? Well, that's you there. Know, the part where you I'm, are good. I'm okay on Master Duel. I'm just vibing. I hate I'm not out here playing Cash Tiro or Pearly or those decks are still any good. of those. Well, yeah. A Rise Heart is still very much legal. Okay. Anyway. I, I must say, I don't play Master Duel enough, so I'm just constantly fucking around in the low ranks playing meta. And every single match is just like, oh, I won. Oh, I won. See, this is why oh, you don't find it boring, because you're not challenging oh, yourself. No, I find it incredibly boring. Because yeah, but you're not challenging yourself. Yeah, I just log on. We're I'm, agreeing, and somehow we're arguing. I'm playing Snake Eyes in Bronze. That's generally the way with him. <laughs> yeah. I finished the battle pass, I'm like, ma, barely got to gold. I'll touch this in six months. <laughs> you don't challenge yourself. Battle player. It's fine. Anyway... Uh, in yes, there, I'm still true. playing uh, Hawkist Bestial, uh, still legal in there. Because, well, actually, to be fair, it's legal in the TCG too. It's just Baron's banned, so it doesn't do anything. Uh, but Baron is legal in Master Duel, so it's great. For some reason. I mean, eventually... Uh, actually, no, OCG haven't hit us, so Master Duel will probably leave it. They probably won't have a problem with it. Um, but yeah, that deck's performing fine. Um, I am keen with the uh, new stuff that came out to change decks, but we'll get into that uh, a little bit later. Anyway, beginning with our large week of news, we start with the biggest news of the week. The Infinite Forbidden has been uh, fully revealed for the TCG. We know all the things. There was a boat outside on the water. Wow, a boat on water? Shocking. Anyway, uh, so we know all of the secrets and the ultras and everything else. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. The 10 secret rares for Infinite Forbidden. Alistar? Of the White Forest. Shut up. I was going to say, I don't even know what these are. I have bought a case just based on what three of them were. Shocking. Anyway, Alistar of the White Forest. I'm okay with pulling that. Elzette of the White Forest. I'm okay with pulling that. Fiendsmith Engraver. I'm okay with pulling that. Molchami Perulia. I'm okay with pulling that. Oh, by the way, we got a name change for the TCG. It's Mol Molchami Chami now rather than Molchami. Oh, it's Molchami now? Yeah. Oh. Hmm. I'm going to call it Chummy. No, we're going to call it Jelly Hand Trappy. Idiot. Diabelle, Morris. Queen of the White Forest. Which is the synchro. Who, who is she? Where's she come from? I'm okay with pulling two us, to that. Just, uh, after six months, she just exists. Yeah. Keep on, keep on. In the forest. Fiendsmith's Requiem. I'm okay with yep. pulling that. Silo Hat Rabbit. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, like, having one around uh, will be good. Like, uh, like I, it's handy. I think I'll that buy that one off you. <laughs> and he will have one to sell you. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the last three, Millennium Onk. I don't want that. No. Fiendsmith's Tract. You do want yeah, that. Yeah, I do want that. It yep. says Fiendsmith, you want yep. it. Uh, and oh, then that's good. Dominus yeah. Purge. I want two of that. Two? Yeah, I already bought one. 
Why'd you buy one? It was like 20 bucks. From whom did you buy one? Nathan. Guess what his fourth secret is going to be in the case. Oh, God, I hope so. I hope you pull a QCR of it just to, like, fuck with your ratio. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so, the Ankh's the only thing there that is... Yeah, in bad. a uh, not abiding by recent history of the sets, uh, Konami's gone completely back to the old ways of, like... All the good stuff. All secret. the good cards bar, like, two are secret. Yeah. I don't and think even Ankh is the worst to have around either. Look, I can't remember what it did. Being we watched that, that live stream six months ago. Well, you've got the new blue eyes that will search it, and then like being a anime related archetype, they will probably just like add random shit to it. Like, it'll get stuff. It's yeah. just whether that stuff does stuff. Millennium. I imagine there'll be a time for Millennium. Not any time soon. Well, the next Millennium. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, buy out your Millennium Monks now. In th year 3000, 3, Konami's going to give it great support. Your 16 oh, lines oh, of... I don't know, I can't believe Bob's finished that there. I'm so tired. Ultra Res. Did you say Bob? good fire in that sentence? I didn't. Good podcast. Uh, Sounded like it. Senjinjin wakes from the Millennium. Good. Senjinjin. Senjinjin. Uh, shield Sen of the Millennium Dynasty. Yeah. Yeah. You need it. Dark right Magician of the Magician of Black Magic. I don't give a fuck about There's it. There's at least three extra words in there, but you'll never know what they are. I just need to pull the white woods for Kurt. Tenpai Jagan Genroku. I want that. Yep. I want a Genroku. Good card. Uh, Desay Blaster, the Negation Fortress. Huh? That's $2. Uh, so it's a new pendulum card. Oh, well, we knew about it ages ago, but I think we forgot about it. It like, negates any card effects oh, activated in the same column, yeah, 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 and then it can yeah. summon itself if there's nothing in the column, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah. I remember going, oh, this is really good. Ooh. Wait, what level is it? Uh, no, it's not four. Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's a levity. The, <laughs> right the unstoppable levity. Exodia Incarnate. Yeah. Light and Darkness Dragon Lord. Cool. I appreciate this card being an ultra rare. Yeah, I was about to mm. say the same thing. Just because it meant it got a quarter century. Yeah, it looks really good in quarter century too. I really want I'm one. impartial to it. I just wanted Jake to be able to say that he liked it and, you know, provide content. Layout for you. Oh yeah, because we're so short of content this week. Uh, Silvera, Wolf Tamer of the White Forest. Yeah. Uh, Roselia, Sinister Soul of the White Forest. Yeah, the other one. Uh, Wedju Temple. Oh. Of the White Forest. Nope. Oh god, that deck's getting up there too. Tales of the White Forest. Yeah. Silu Hat, which is the trap that goes with the link that you don't want. Of course. Okay. Of course. Mimigul Master and Mimigul Dungeon. Yeah. Now, if you are unfamiliar with these words, that is because Mimigul is the newest TCG exclusive archetype. Uh, and let me tell you all about it. Um, I guess, worst news first. Bragg has apparently shit himself. <laughs> Did he lose the recording phone? We're still filming? Yeah. We're still rolling? Yeah, yeah, we're still good. We're good. So, uh, yeah, worst news first with the Mimigools. They are flip monsters for the most part. Uh, however, uh, the gimmick behind them is that you give them to your opponent and then the mechanics of the deck work as such that they have to flip them up in order to be able to play the deck that they had brought to locals or wherever. Uh, and each of them basically put a positive effect on you being the not controller, mm. or a negative effect on your opponent, being the controller, mm. and then give them back to you. Mm. I'm honestly impressed that no one saw this coming, given that we got Solar Lunar and Guard Dog reprinted in Rarity Collection. Well, the Prediction Princess players were so vocal about the reprints that they yeah. so deserved. Like, when we got those reprints, people were like, oh, finally, Prediction Princess is cheaper. It's like... <laughs> it can get cheaper? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. Uh, so anyway, for this first run of Mimigul support, uh, they get one non-flip monster, which is uh, seemingly the boss monster, even it's though it's a level four. Yes, it does yeah. do the search and it does uh, quick effect flip the monsters your opponent controls in case they do any funny business. Is this any face down monster your opponent controls? Yes. Good. Change one face down monster. Oh, on the field, so it can be even be yours. You can flip guard dog. You can guard dog yourself. I mean, on your opponent's turn, yes. <laughs> I thought, is Guard Dog neither player? I thought Guard Dog was you cannot special summon. We're not looking up Guard Dog text now. 
You should have looked at them in your rarity packs. Um, but anyway, they get the uh, level four boss monster, the Mimigul Master. Uh, Mimigul Dragon, um, which when it's flipped destroys all face up monsters of the controller of it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then switches control. Yeah, yeah. Well, in they, sequence. They all do that. Yes. So I'm not going to read that part. Mm. Okay. I just wanted to tell the people. Even though I just told them. Mm. I'm giving the people what they want. Mm. <laughs> What the people want, and as a member of the people, I feel I'm qualified to, to answer this, is for you to just shut the fuck up a little. Jake, we're <laughs> above the people. And he's... The people are down there. And he's a certain audience member's favourite host. Comment um, below your favourite host. I am the best person. <laughs> <laughs> That's just for us. Um, so yeah, uh, so... Uh, Mimigal cool. Dragon blows up all face-up monsters and then hands it off to the pen. I also really like the arts of these. The yes. artworks are sick. They are um, Mimigul Cerberus, uh, banish top three cards of your deck and then special summon one of the banished monsters to your opponent's field in defense mode. Um, <laughs> and then the, so the chests go. They walk down the hallway because the chests walk. They go. <laughs> they walk with their chest down. The guard dog pops out. I don't, know, I don't know why you're doing the arms of like the droids from Star Wars doing this. No, the mouths, the mouths. Oh, their mouths. <laughs> ah, so you're doing crab action. Yes, they go. No, because he, he was also doing his mouth, so that's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Mimigul Archfiend. Yeah, I was going to say to get Rips an Archfiend. Card from hand. I love that they just go, oh, what's our, what's our default stuff? Uh, Cerberus, Archfiend, we, we Dragon. We Dark? <laughs> this is it. Um, oh, should also point out, um, I think they're all different types. Well, you'd hope so. Yeah, one's Cerberus should be a beast, one should be a fiend, one should be a dragon. Yes. Yes, they are. Uh, so the boss monster's a zombie. zombie. Uh, dragon's a dragon. There can be uh, only Cerberus one. Cerberus is a beast. And Archfiend is a... Fiend. You know what Shocking. goes really well with this deck? Fiendsmith. Mm-hmm. Shocking. Anyway, <laughs> uh, they are all Earth type though. All one attribute. Earth. Um, uh, they're not lights. They nah. Imagine if the boss oh, monster was scene. also a light fiend. Um, so yeah, uh, when this one's flipped, uh, your opponent, being you, draws a card, um, and then they draw a card. The uh, controller. That's you. Sends one card from their hand to the graveyard, and then they give it back. Feels bad to be you. Uh, and then they get a new field spell, which is a, um, I think it's a soft once per turn. I don't know. Um, you can only use the effect of the Mimigul dungeon once per turn. Mm-hmm. Um, like it has a bunch of protection effects to stop your Mimigul's from immediately dying. Yep. Um, but then it also, once per turn, adds a Mimigul from your deck or your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Not just on activation. I like so how you've been interchanging between Gimmigul and Mimigul. Oh, uh, have I yeah. actively been saying <laughs> two yeah, different you've been things? Fuck. <laughs> We're going to get copyrighted to track. Nintendo's coming after us! <laughs> I suppose now's long? a good time to bring that up. How the fuck did that get past Konami? It's like, well, yeah, we can mimics. say that. They're mimics. Yeah, they're, oh, yeah, it doesn't cool. sound at all like a very uh, famous and uh, franchise-leading Pokemon. So, there's a YCS. Oh, there's no. WCQ next weekend. Hmm. Do you reckon, like, round Ooh. one or two, they put this on stream, and do you reckon Jerome fucks it up? What I would do if Jerome said, gimme ghoul on stream. I don't think Jerome would. I think one of the other people might. And although, they're fired although, immediately. Although, theory, uh, conspiracy theory, they didn't mention the name of the archetype when he did the stream oh, as the it? hint. He did yeah. the sneak peek. They just had he to come up. He kept fucking it up. So they just got rid of it. Yeah. They're like, no, stop. Stop, you're going to get a suit. Anyway, uh, two other pieces of support for this. Uh, so they get a spell which tutors flip monsters out of the deck uh, and then can special summon Mimi Ghouls from your hand I'm as well. I'm impressed with the amount of consistency they gave this deck. It's actually kind of crazy. Um, and then a trap card that I think special... It's a trap sp- card, we're ignoring it. It's a good trap card though. Yeah, and it's, it's searchable within the archetype. Flip. Unlike a lot of other TCG archetype flip. trap cards. Flip. Like uh, Danger Zone. Flip, flip. Is that not searchable? No. Uh, I thought there's a card that searches danger card. No, it foolishes it. <laughs> there's no danger card that searches a danger spell or trap. <laughs> um, so circling back to uh, the rest of Infinite Forbidden, um, as we've known for quite some time, uh, Moon Goddess of the... Op- no, Closed Heaven. Closed. It's not open, it's closed. Um, Heaven's closed? Heaven is closed. That's what they want. How are we that's, gonna get in? That's what they want you to think. It's all right. We don't want to go there anyway. There's no Christmas in heaven. Um, <laughs> 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 I'm so tired. <laughs> um, 
We get um, some beasts that I don't give a shit about. Mm -hmm. um, we get the spell card Monster Reborn and the spell card Soul Exchange uh, being brought in as super rares. I'm so happy these weren't secrets. Oh, I imagine. I didn't think these were going to be here in, in here at all because they're bringing out all the other alt arts in the mega tins. Yeah, yeah, I thought that was. I just... thought these would already been like, yep, we're whacking those in the tins. Yeah. Um, seemingly, though, we get some interesting support for fiends yeah. in the TCG. Specifically, um, the ability to be super polyed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Nubel already had so many super poly targets, and Konami TCG are like, hmm, have. Another one. Yeah. Except um, for Spirit of Ubel come uses a fusion, so he can't super poly it anyway, so it's kind of redundant. Oh, but then it's not like they on, only end on the Phantom of Ubel. Yeah, but they end on that and one other thing. It ain't doing shit. But they don't. <laughs> okay. I don't know what they end it's on. Flood the board. Oh, they, I know what they end on. Beatrice. <laughs> the other one. I mean... Oh, yeah. If, if um, they do well enough, they could end on both. Caesar, Emperor of Rome. Uh, so speaking of Caesar, uh, the newest super poly target, Aerial Eater, is a level six wind fiend, and it requires two fiends with the same attribute. Fantastic. Do DDDs lock you to DDDs when you fuse, or is this fusion summon using DDDs? Anyway, we. I continue. don't know enough about DDDs to know the answer. I that used question. to. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Long um, gone. There's a very niche uh, themed extender. Um, I feel like it probably uses a little bit too much resources what, for the most dip, decks. The Dipsy? Yeah, yeah, the Dipsy Fiend. Uh, and then the Necro Equip Princess. Um, so it just needs a monster on the field equipped with the monster card and one Fiend monster. Um, and the, it's a contact fusion as far as I can work out. You just send the materials from Handle, Gra uh, yep. handle Field. They're cowards um, for not giving us the Final Fantasy fusion in the set. Uh, oh, this is also a uh, level C Stark Fiend. Yep. Just. Yep. King Caesars for everybody. Yeah. Super poly your opponent twice, then make a Caesar to stop their follow up. Yep. However, you have just gone minus four to make them good. Minus four. Normal summon snake out there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I summoned none but the Anima Corn. This is a disaster. If that, if that's a monster in the spell and traps that are not so much treated as an equip, we're in trouble. But until then, we're fine. Uh, look, I, I think it can see some use. It probably won't see some use, but it could. The Final Fantasy one use. does say that. Yeah. Why do you keep saying? I, I don't know what you're talking about. Because you call it the Final Fantasy fusion. The little fucking thing that looks like you could lose to a panda bear in a fight. Panda bears are vicious. This meme. No, I just thought of a cuddliest thing oh, I could think of. <laughs> Anywho, uh, in other exciting news, we have the first hints, or rather releases, of the Blue Eyes retrains that are coming out in the Blue Eyes structure deck. I'm quite disappointed. It what? took us way too long to realise that Spirit Dragon can make this new synchro. <laughs> yeah, we were talking about this in the chat because of the level of it. And I still like, think Carbon Man's game. Look, I don't think that they're relying on you to use Spirit to cheat it out, to have it die to Spirit's cheat out effect to then bring something else out. It's I feel like Spirit it's a bit too... Yeah, no, I just don't think that that's what they're planning. I think there will be other cards. But anyway... I think it's get... pretty great <laughs> just to summon Spirit back. <laughs> Shut up. Because then you can stop your opponent's Snake Eyes Flame Burge on the counter swing. So, Blue Eyes, Spirit, Ultimate Dragon. Yep. Uh, 3,500 attack, 4,000 defense. Oh, I suppose, yeah, Spirit Dragon had more defense yeah, attack. Yeah. Bigger booty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, the Spirit. Um, so the reason we couldn't figure out how they were making is because it needs two plus tuners plus one non-tuner blue eyes monster. Um, except for if wait, you said two out. plus tuners? Yes. Oh, so you could just use four tuners? You could do that, yes. It's a level 11? 12. 12. 12. Oh, yeah, because my other combo works with it. Oh, okay. So yeah. All right. Well, if it's maybe we're not getting another a level three uh, tuner, that would probably be the intention then. Is I feel like they because you've got yeah, spirit, spirit. you got double sword guy, original maiden, this mate. Um. I reckon they're getting a blue eyes poplar. Blue eyes white poplar. Oh, they're, yeah, they're totally getting a poplar. Yeah, who is kind of I just take the just reskin, literally just fucking reskin poplar, and that'd be amazing. No, no, they need to reskin Gen Roku. Have it come to the board and then modulate its level. No, I, I literally just mean take Poplar, stick silver skin on it, give it some blue eyes, and fucking sell it. 
Maybe that's what Dia Bulls is, is trying to do. Yeah, maybe she's trying to make blue eyes. And instead she keeps getting snakes. Anyway, can I talk about these dragons? Jake, I'm sick and tired of these goddamn snakes in my goddamn Diablo Star spell. Dia Bulls. Me too. Me snakes. Yes. Anyway. Illusions. What so, was this an illusion monster? Shut up. It's a spirit. Yeah. First effect of the ultimate spirit dragon. Your opponent cannot banish cards from your graveyard. Yeah. No to your bestial. So yeah, bounce um, spirit dragon when they activate bestial. When a card or effect is activated on the field, uh, you can negate the activation if you do this card gains a thousand attack until the end of this turn. And then yeah. if this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, special summon one light dragon monster from your graveyard, except the light ultimate speed track. Cute. Uh, we've got the Maiden of White, the retrain of the uh, terrible level one that you used to have to use. What do you mean terrible? She was great. No, nah, she was bad. What the f- <laughs> You're mental. Nah, bad. It was pretty bad. There were times when it was hard to out, and times when you laughed at it. 95% of the time it was laughed at. Wear Wonder Wand retrain. Oh, please. Um, so, you can send this card from your hand or field Wonder to the graveyard. Wonder Place one true light. <laughs> I said draw two. Right, okay, I'm with you. Sorry, I was trying to, you know, do what we're here for. Uh, you can we're send here this to <laughs> Jake. This is going to be unwatchable. And educate. Yeah, and whose fucking fault is that? What's more unwatchable, this week or last week? <laughs> Which was literally I mean, unwatchable. Yeah, physically <laughs> unwatchable. <laughs> it's okay, the sight gags will make it this week. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, so, send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard. Place one true light from your hand, deck, or graveyard face up in your spell and trap zone. So they get immediate access to the true light, which is <laughs> fucking hilarious. If you special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. When a card or effect is activated that targets this card on the field, or when this card is targeted for an attack, quick effect, special summon Blue Eyes White Dragon, or one level one light tuner from your graveyard. That's how they're supposed to do it. That only gets two. Hmm? Yeah, and then you have another one. No, because if you go... Ah, oh, hang on. Here comes the math. Have you got normal summon effect Veiler? What? <laughs> Why are you doing that? <laughs> you panicked, okay? You saw a level one light tutor and you're like, I'm gonna meet this later. Normal summon. Oh shit. <laughs> okay, after what feels like an eternity, we'll move on to the third card. <laughs> Don't. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shout out to Loza for being such a good sport about them having eternal soul support. Yeah, he was definitely not upset about it in no, any way. What a champ. Prayers with Eyes of Blue. Discard one card, add one level white, uh, level one light tuner and one spell trap that mentions Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck to your hand, except for itself. Banish this card from your graveyard, then target one Blue Eyes White Dragon you control. Equip one Blue Eyes monster from your extra deck to it as an equip spell that gives it 400 Huge. attack. That makes the Synchro 4,000. Makes it 39, but sure. That's Go math. Off. I didn't know how much attack it had. I just <laughs> made that up. He said 35 before. We're not going yeah, in. 400 not going plus 35. You, you seem to be misinterpreting you, me here. Why are you, why are you, you arguing you with me? You perceive the fact that I was listening. Eh? He I was very not. much just trying to make up jokes in his head and then catching any context to what we're I talking about. I missed one earlier. What? It's fine. Anyway. Um, so, what was I going to say about this one? Um, yeah, I feel like this is the way that they want you to try and make Magia. Yeah. Just equipping the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then bidding it, and then using the Blue Eyes Fusion spell to put it back. Yeah. I Dragon think track? is the idea. I need you to stop. The fact, that this, is, the fact that, this is, this, that this is just better than Dragon Shrine. And then Saga of the Blue-Eyed. Was this better than Dragon Shrine? Especially summon a Blue-Eyes monster from your huh. deck, this graveyard, is... or banishment in defense position. But you can only special summon Blue-Eyes White Dragon with this effect if you do not control it. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of the turn except Dragon Monsters. <gasps> Shocking. Anyway, uh, banish this card from your graveyard. Fusion summon one fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as material, including a Blue-Eyes monster. 
I feel like that effect won't get used. This deck's going to be all right. Yeah, so that is four of the total eight cards that they said they were going to be bringing in this structure deck. So there are four other new cards. Why can't they do Dark Vision at the same time and then do the, the half decks again? Oh, whatever. Question. Answer. Do you reckon that the no. OCG will get Magia in the structure 100%. deck? 100%. Okay. Cool. Just wanted to check that. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> I would laugh. Because we won't. So, uh, absolutely not. Hey guys, remember how you guys paid five hundred? Anyway, it's in a structure deck. <laughs> Actually, neither neither way. Like either way, this is terrible because you either pay five hundred dollars for the QCR to play fucking Blue Eyes, or you pay five hundred for it, and then they're like, "Ha, common." <laughs> hey, hey, you forgot oh, the good sorry. situation. Maybe where an ultra. I get it, <laughs> but how do you get it? Because I'm pulling it in the structure deck. They should just randomly put it in every few hundred structure decks. Yeah. Yeah. Do it, Jerome. That's a great idea. Maintain the rarity. And then put Mimigools on round one of stream. And try not to say the other word. And take off that tie. The bad word. Please. Yeah, change the yellow tie. It oh, needs maybe. to go. Well. Needs, you need a green tie. And then a blue one. Then you can get back to the yellow. Yeah, alternate the tie. We're a red tie. Do you think he owns more than one tie? Maybe. What? Do you think he saves the other ones for the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> We're so close to off the rails. <laughs> close to off the rails? <laughs> Look, I'm trying. <laughs> Continue. So, speaking of Jerome, we have an announcement. For the announcement of the ban oh, list. Oh, yeah. I actually appreciate this. Uh, I... Mm. I really appreciate this. You, so, know, you know what they did immediately after this, though? They announced a fuckload of regionals for North America. Uh, so they, they're going back to regionals the week after WCQ. Oh, wow. So before Worlds? Yep. Hectic. That's weird. Yes. Are we getting regionals? I don't know if we are, but North America is. I hope we do. Is this like a last chance get your snake eyes kind of thing? This was right? very much a case of they were like, sorry, you're going to be paying all this money for one event. Here's a couple more. Yeah. Also, all of Europe. <laughs> 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 How, that, that must sting that we got a fucking YCS and London didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, the announcement was uh, they have indicated that the next forbidden list changes will be announced in late August after reviewing major changes to the game provided by the cards uh, from Infinite Forbidden and how they impact gameplay. <laughs> what? So basically they want to see if it's going to be completely fucked or if like Fiendsmith what? balances things what? out. It's going to balance things out by making Snake Eyes and Ubel so much better than everything else. <laughs> what? what is just completely crazy to me is all this should be known and figured out they should have like they should be thinking we about shouldn't be the r d yeah like they should be six months almost 12 months ahead I and have already r d well you can't because you'll be oh fuck i forgot that part jesus fucking shit he'd be silly he do be he do be a silly goober goober Rock. Cooper. Dun 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 dun. Continue. That's only the fourth musical number we've done. Continue. Oh, there'll be more. Uh, speaking of announcements, we have some somber news. Mm. Oh, we were supposed to all wear black. I mean, the one that cares about it is Speed Dual Products. Oh no! <laughs> it's okay, Bragg. Have been paused. Paused. I thought it paused said, to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The statement is paused, but let's assume killed. So the announcement goes as follows. With the release of Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Speed Dual City Battle City Final City Friends uh, Finals, initial Speed Dual Saga we started a few years ago will be concluding. While we are including new content like Noah, Duke and Tristan, the Speed Duel releases are starting to retread a lot of familiar ground, so the product line will be pausing for a rest. As always, Speed Duel cards are legal for TCG play, 
except if you bought the most recent set before this and you'd play it outside of America. And there will be no, continued... No, you can still play the Speed Duel versions outside. You just can't play those Speed Duel cards in Speed Duels outside of North America. That's the same to me. I'm not playing Speed Duels. Um, Neither is anyone else. Be... <laughs> Clearly. And there will be continued OP support for Speed Duel so that duelists can continue to play the format. Oh. Rush duels, rush duels, rush duels, yeah. rush duels, rush duels. Like we, the, when the distributor from South America mentioned it, we had already seen the writing on the wall with this. The re they're, they're running out of material. Like We're inference. running out of Retreading material. old ground. By the way, we gave you a bunch of stuff that's tuna support. You still have multiple secrets. seasons of OG. You still have plenty of GX. You still have all the rest. Do I want it? No. But that's a shitty excuse. Rush doors, rush doors, yeah. rush doors. Well, their excuse was that they're retreading a lot of the same ground. And who would have thought that a product that derives exactly from, with some slight variations, the current game just set 15 years ago, would be doing kind of the same thing? Except you get it's skills. Shocking. Skills. I'm shocked, Ben. That's like, a shocked face. There was stuff they can they could have followed from Jewel Links, like. <laughs> There's plenty of ways to do it. Also, you could do both speed jewels and rush jewels. Like. <laughs> He's moving around so much that the mics are also just going to be fucked out of sync. This yeah. Same idea. Oh, it matches the actual audio because we are fucked and we're out of sync. We're going to need a desk. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Give us money. Would be nice if yeah, someone, G Fuel. someone clipped our Patreon link. Or, you know, created a Patreon. Or, you know, even so much as looked at the Patreon website to figure out how that works. Mm. Why are you guys subscribed to our Patreon? Yeah. It's alright. We'll work on it. We'll work on it. Um, oh, my phone closed. Everything's fine. Just um, don't stop the recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still going. Um, but they did make some brief updates for the uh, ban list for there. Um, oh, yeah. Like, by the well, way, this we, is the yeah. last ban list we're getting. By the way, here's Maxi. Goodbye. They just, kick, they just <laughs> kick Weevil to death and move on, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Uh, My Mind Precious Queen limited. has been banned. Yeah. Um, a bunch of cards got limited. Um, yeah, all, all the crazy staples that they printed in the newest set are now just limited. And by crazy staples, I mean Mystical Space Typhoon. Not Dandelion, because, you know, no tunas. Oh, Cyber Dragon's back to three. What the hell does Dandelion do? Now. Summons two plants. <laughs> yeah, but for what? Can they be used as tribute summons? The turn after, so. yes. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I was like, you said yeah. it. You get attacked over. You tribute summon blue eyes. Done. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh, light and darkness dragon. Oh, definitely did that. Oh. Anyway, uh, we move on to some card announcements from Rage of the Abyss. You were excited for the release of uh, Jelly Hand Trappy this weekend. Well, good news. We have Flappy Hand Trappy. This literally got announced like two hours after I bought the one extra Mulchami, just in case I didn't pull three. That's good. It's fine. Which one will you run? Both? Neither? I mean, it'll, you can... it'll be a switch in and out depending on the format. Yeah. Sometimes thing. it's Flappy Hand Trappy, sometimes it's a Jelly Hand Trappy. So, uh, Flappy Hand Trappy, otherwise known as Mulchami uh, Fualos. We're getting one more of these, by the way. How do we know? Uh, because we still need one for Grave and Banishment. So that'll be the fire one. Hmm. Hang on. Water, wind, fire. What are the three attributes that are... Um... Locked on the trap? Yeah. Light, dark. And fire. Yeah. Okay. Not related. Just checking. Anyway, uh, so what level the four... ground one do? No, the ground one might do the reborning. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, um, Bell. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Rocky yeah. Hand Blocky? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Rocky Hand Blocky. <laughs> but Fly should do from deck, and this is doing from deck. Yes. Mm, interesting. Anyway, level four, wing beast, wind. Uh, not that any of these stats matter because you're literally just discarding it. It's searchable uh, off Rabina. Yeah, it's going to say wing beast. But then you, can't, then you can't use it. <laughs> oh, you can if you. Oh, sorry. Quick normal play spell summon Rabina, uh, use effect, uh, chain the quick play spell, banish it, but then don't conduct a normal summon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 
So, each time, uh, if you control no cards, quick effect, discard this card, apply these effects. Each time your opponent special summons a monster or monsters from the deck and or extra deck, draw one card. And then during the end phase, if the number of cards in your hand is more than the number of cards your opponent controls plus six, uh, randomly shuffle them into your, um, yeah, whatever, blah, 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 blah. How much do you think people are going to forget that resolution thing? I'm not. Oh, no. <laughs> I will be watching like a hawk because this will get dropped on me. I like know it. The fact that it says random is the wild part. Oh, because yeah. the other one's choose, isn't it? No. No, they're both, both oh. of them are random. Oh, I thought yeah. someone was choose. New. No. Hmm. Both are random. Oh. Oh, it's never going to come up, surely. Yeah, we'll see. We'll we see. will. Plus six is huge. Yeah, it's a lot. Like, considering it's, I think it's, is it opponent controls? Yes, yes. controls. Cards. Yeah, like, your opponent's not going to have that many cards. Well, no, that's, yeah, no, that's the wild part about it, right? Because they're not going to have that many cards realistically. Like, most boards say their best end board is like two or three monsters for the most part. But to get to that, they've summoned 17, 18 times. Yeah, so if, if they fall You're shuffling down. some cards. To be fair, like, but also... This doesn't draw that much against Snake Eyes. No. Until they release uh, Rocky Hand Droppy. Yes. Rocky Hand Droppy would be great. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Anyway. Um, it's an interesting card. And I like that the idea, at least, that eventually Maxi will fuck off forever. Yes. It'll just live on in memory. Do and we will have the jellies. next ban list Maxi gets banned? For OCG. In OCG. Or the one after? Well, I reckon it'll be game. after this is released. Not when we get Rocky Hand Blocky? No, no, no. Before Rocky Hand Blocky, but okay. after Flappy Hand Traffic. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense, makes sense. Mm, mm, mm. Yes. Uh, but also in... Actually, do I want to talk about these? I can't remember if these were good. No, they're not. I these don't care were about not that. good. It was, no. it was a link. It was green. Well, which... What, what? Oh, it was the ghost ship. Oh, yeah. Ghost ship link. Yeah, it's not great. Um, but What's, more what? excitingly in... Uh, What's oh yeah. Called? I was about to call it Rotor. Oh which yeah. Which technically was called, but not really. Rage of the Abyss. We have the newest part of the... Uh, Isn't it Raider? Bell- no, huh? Isn't it Raider? Well, I thought it was Rotor. Rage of... Spell with an O. Yes, it's Rotor. The, spell with a T. And it's annoying. Abyss. Yeah, I know. Didn't we already have a set called Rotor? Shouldn't. Okay. We have a Rotor. Yeah, yeah I just thought we had Rotor a... is a card. I just thought... Such as a level oh, 4 did. warrior from your deck. Yeah, it's okay. Not once per turn, but in the TCG. Why would he one. ever want to search warriors? Yeah. Maybe he's played. Wait, Samurai's in the Rota set? <laughs> ah, funny. Anyway, um, so I the newest part of the Diablo <laughs> storyline has been released with the Azamina archetype. Uh, so we have, I think it's four, yeah, four fusions, a few spells. The main. The interesting thing about them is that they do have standard uh, fusion materials. One of them is a. Um, negate and they do some other stuff the interesting thing is more so the mechanic in that the fusion spell that you're supposed to use actually either sends snake eyes or not snake eyes, original sin spells from your field and hand to fusion summon them depending on their level Mm. or the trap that shuffles them back Yeah, one for small, two for big yeah, pretty much, that's the rule of thumb um so yeah, it looks very interesting. Um, mm. It'll all be very expensive here in the TCG, I imagine. Code's going to play it. Um, he already told me. Yeah, 100% he's going to play it. Because the idea is that like your white forest is set up and like can make normal material if you get stuck. Oh. And then you can do synchro and fusion plays. Okay. There was something I really liked from this. What was it? Uh, the artwork. The one card in the game. We... There was a bit of plot as well. It was good. So where did Diablo start come from? Not Diablo. Not. <clears throat> where she did came Diablo from France. <laughs> Diablo's the queen she of the White does. Forest. Yeah, but where? What's her deal? Where does she go? Did she possess them? I don't know. I'm kind of keen. Off Give us, with her head. Where's the law? Well, isn't in the, that in, part? That, in yeah. that book? Yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. We'll find out. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. We also get a goblin biker. Did you see this? Yeah. Did I see this? I heard of it. That's a badass. Yeah, well, not by the time I get to the TCG, it won't be. It's going to be a mean tushy. <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. Uh, but anyway, uh, special summons itself. Oh, well, we uh, have mean merciless. Special summon deck. Uh, and then attaches materials. 
then they also have a spell on the trap, which I wasn't aware of and I don't feel like reading. Um, speaking of new cards, though, and Xyz in particular, we have the first of the three archetypes announced from the uh, crossover oh, break. Yes. We're not reading this whole archetype. Yeah. It's rank no, four no, no. support. If, so, yeah, it is purely rank four. Lucas, you got your rank four support. Remember how we had this argument on Tuesday? You got it. Yeah. No more talking about it. What? Nothing. Lucas wants this? Hunters too. Yeah, yeah, he wanted uh, Utopia support. And I was like... We've got so much rank for... Yeah. <laughs> Play my Monica. Yeah. Anyway, That's Utopia support. Uh, it likes to Xyz. Um, what it does with those Xyz, no one knows, no one cares. What? They pop? What were the attributes? They pop. Uh, so it they was, were... Uh, Fire Thunder. Fire Thunder. Fire Thunder. And Light... Uh, what was it? Light... <laughs> Fiend. Pyro. Pyro. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they swap. Yeah, they were it. inverse. Yeah. Just us. Um, but yeah, the, shut the fuck up. <laughs> you should hey. be sitting there making fucking gun noises for 30 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> you motherfucker. Off. We're having our own conversation over here, okay? <laughs> Jeez. I said guns up. Oh, sorry. I thought you had a question. <laughs> I had <don't know. laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, but that does bring us on to our next point. Yes? The quarter century bonanza! Oh, God, we still have this. Yeah, what the hell? So, uh, so we're getting, uh, I think it's like 1,300 quarter century rares, all with cowboy hats. That's a lie. Uh, I don't know what this Four. is, but it is a lot. 200 um, retro card uh, size yes. set. 18? 200 card nostalgia pool. Uh, That's and then retro pack three. And then there's like another X amount of cards sense. that are also being printed in the set. In the set outside of the 200. Oh. Oh, so it's a 300 card set. Oh my God. Just yeah, about. It's, one, it's a lot. Yeah. But one, one card per pack is from the retro pool. I may have made that up. Five cards Don't per pack, pack like the first rarity collection, yep. but one super rare in every pack will be a guaranteed luxury secret rare, either platinum, secret, or quarter century. That doesn't mean that oh. one is a luxury in every pack. That just means you get a one for a shot at a quarter century. No, it's just saying that one of the super rares is a guaranteed. Yeah, that means it's not a super rare. Yeah. That super rare is never going to be in your pack. And <laughs> Oh, and that luxury... Uh, the guaranteed luxury secret rare is from the 200 card pool. 278, that's the number. 278 card set. Oh, it's because they took Maxi out again. We're going to find 279. We're going to guess this set. Oh, Christ. That'll be like putting a puzzle together. First guess, Metamorphosis. Please! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, QCR. It has to be. Yeah, please. All right, come on. So a couple more interesting things on this. Um... They're reprinting a few cards that they have already done in Quarter Century Rare, but they are guaranteed to not be Quarter Century Rare. Uh, so Super Poly, Promethean, Princess, uh, Diablo Star have been the ones that are highlighted so far to be reprinted, but not as QCR. So they're not banning Promethean Princess for another year. New, no. And we already know Diablo Star is not getting banned because it's part of the... Yeah, it can, never, actually it can now, never be banned. Yeah. Now they're just integrating it into the other lore lines. Yeah, it'll be it one that goes down. Snake Eyes? I mean, no. Snake Eyes, Goblin yes. Biker. What's Goblin it? Biker, no, no. That's what you're thinking. When do the tin come in? When do the tins come in again? Early August? September. Um, they they get pushed back every year now. I think it's like third Yeah, I was September. wondering which way they went. Um, yeah, that's not going to work with that ban list. Uh, what, November release for this? Uh, I don't remember. Yes, November 7th. So they're not hitting Diablo Star and they probably won't hit Wanted Poster either. Because one's got to search the other. So the snake eyes stuff. It puts to the lotion They have on to hit OG. Skin. Oak. Yeah. What? Ban Oak. I don't think Oak. Just call them Ban Ash. The, the Ash isn't even the problem. <laughs> it's all of them. All of them. Are all of them. Are problem, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. But then she doesn't have a pet. Yeah. No, she does because he com becomes a big boy. True. Yep. It's time to grow up, Poplar. Yeah, you bitch. Stop paying rent. <laughs> um, oh, the uh, card... No, hang on. No, never mind. I don't care about that. Uh, and then, <laughs> lastly, before we move on to some questions, uh, Master Duel update. 
Uh, so that yeah. was brought in July 11th. Um, they've brought in a pack for Cash Jira, which they hadn't done before. Yeah, yeah keep going, keep going. That was weirdly excited. Um, oh, what is Lorna laugh for him? On one of the next points you're going to make. Okay, uh, we have a new mate, the uh, Scareclaw Lightheart, which is cool. Uh, the dual field for uh, Wraith Soths, uh, which looks kind of cool because it's mm. got like the Japanese inspired thingy, industrial, whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Uh, new Bell Sleeves, uh, Super Poly Icon, uh, an Xyz pack, Xyz Explosion. Um, I'll give you an Xyz Explosion. <laughs> Damn, that's badass. Um, and Spoilers. Then, <laughs> It's boo. Mean push. <laughs> uh, a new selection pack, Eternal Partners. Uh, so this has uh, Centurion, Ubel, and some other random shit. Yep. Um, including uh, that TCG exclusive trap card that is shit. What from Ubel is missing from the pack? Anything? Nothing? Nothing. Yeah. yeah Ubel got everything. All at once. I had to wait six months for rescue race cards <laughs> that I am now <laughs> just can't be bothered playing. <laughs> Every week, it was like, now we talk about Master Duel. Did they bring my cards in? No, Ben. It has still been a power, like avoiding power creep. Like, that's uh, the only way. It was definitely just a case that they were like, we can't do this. We don't want this, what happened to the OCG happening here. Why don't you respect our firefighters? Yeah. yeah. What you got against them? What do demon women have that firefighters don't? Boobies. Well, I mean, in seventy-seven percent of the time. Shout out to the booby firefighters out there with the mean tushes. <laughs> <laughs> we I were... think that was offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the most sixties executive thing <laughs> I've ever seen. You got a mean tush. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we move on to questions if you weren't aware we do have a discord link will be in the description below feel free to jump in say hi and ask us questions our first question this week comes from frozen actoline what card do you want a qcr version of no, i mean we've said it to already this episode metamorphosis mm -hmm. oh thousand eyes i have a lot of chewed on metamorphosis so it would just be nice to have you know some surely scapegoats are shout Scapegoat would be good. Yeah. Um, Upstart Goblin would be cool. Wasn't it in that set too? And they just... Which did... set? No. Oh, Upstart wasn't in number no. two? No, it wasn't. Oh. Otherwise, it, it would have a QCR. Garnetia Elephant. Was it number one? Actually, I'd like to see more vanillas in QCR because I feel like, like there'd be very little else to distract from the artwork other yeah. than the glitter hitting you in the face <laughs> qcr ryan ryan didn't get enough love he got it he got support he got a card and it's only related to the archetype it's supposed to be part of because of text in the box because it's not too rerun they, they, they could have um you know what it is it's don't manga. lie no, um, I'm saying it's not yeah, yeah. Toon Rerun. Oh, understood, understood. I'm it's saying... Manga Rerun. Uh, the Toons probably should get some QCRs. Yes. Like, that would make some money off that. No. Toon... Oh, yeah, I don't want it, but... QCR yeah. Toon World, is... not Kingdom. World. Keep my Kingdom values high. It is my Kingdom. Um, but yeah, Vanillas. I want Vanillas in QCR. Oh, sorry, circling back to the Bonanza. Um... The one piece of text in there said, uh, The one we piece are of <laughs> <laughs> An excerpt of text in there said that they are coming to an end soon. So we're about, I don't know when it is, but soonish. And then it'll be the 30th! Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm just wondering if they actually go back to printing Starlights again, or whether they're just like, Starlight. have your secrets and shut up. Yeah, we'll see. We'll increase we'll the value of secrets. QCR Cowboy. Oh, yes. For the Bonanza. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next question from Jesse. 
With the Maxi reprinted in Speed Duel set, um, which we didn't really cover, but it's getting better. Uh, and Molchummy entering the TCG, do you think we see Maxi return? And if so, do we see Ben quit the game? Oh, I wouldn't quit the game. Jake quit the game. Yeah, that would kill me. Um, but yeah, like they're literally printing new Maxis uh, where they get money. So why would they bring back old Maxi, which is arguably better, that gives them no money? They but want no money. I think Maxi is for the Time Wizard. I think Maxi in that set is for Time Wizard. If it's in there. What? It's in the Speed Duel set. Oh, the Speed Duel set, sorry. I yeah. thought I uh, know. I thought you were talking about the bonanza. Probably should be the bonanza too, but yeah, those two hundred cards don't need to be legal. Oh, it just occurred to me if he hasn't already. If they're doing like a promo shoot for the bonanza, they're gonna get fucking old mate in his yellow tie and a cowboy hat, and he's gonna try an accent that's gonna be offensive. <laughs> it's <laughs> any he's... more offensive than ours? Yeah. No, but this is only broadcast to a very small but. Much loved group of people. It's a few hundred of you. I appreciate yous. Love yous. Um, yeah, no. It, I can't see Maxi coming back to the actual game. Like, a lot of the talk around these new hand traps is that the converse will happen and that Maxi will be flung into the pages of history. Yeah, because you could never re- you could never bring back Maxi now because it just fucking devalues these. Yes. Yeah. It just makes these cards unplayable. But is Maxi even in any Time Wizard formats that are popular? Nope. Hat? Yeah, and but Hat's not popular. This is the only one I can think of. Like Popularly Dragon yet. Ruler? Yeah. Even then it was kind of... Even oh, then. 3 Max 3, C3 Veiler. Oh, no, because the baby's activated to some of the Maxi always felt bad in... Value. Maxi always felt bad in that format because she had vanities. Yeah. Mm. It's like, if they're, if they're special or something, I have a problem. I can draw as many cards as I want, they'll still destroy me. If you draw Not like now, mystical space time, where it's yeah. like, uh-huh, I draw, you know, a million hand traps. Oh, you had vanities? Anyway, he's my blaster. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Uh, next question is from IR Cool Guy. What will be your chase card from Infinite Forbidden, if any? For him, it is Wabbit. Yeah, Wabbit. Wabbit, new Valmonica. Wabbit. Wait, there's an... Oh, the Link 2. Wow, that's super. Yeah. Um, anyway. I, I didn't say, say we're chasing hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's a slow jog. <laughs> so, all of it. I mean, yeah, okay, you I mean, did, yeah. in fact, buy a case. Um, I will pick up the Whitewood stuff. I will probably pick up the Fiendsmith stuff, but I'm not in any rush to get any of it because there's nothing to play for. That's awfully grim. Well, there isn't. What have we got in OTS, James? Oh yeah, that's right. We will, won't we? Then I'll probably play Terra. But <laughs> and the world's. Um, hopefully, we we'll do a world's event this year. Should yeah, be, should true. Be. I want a world's event this year. We'll just run one ourselves. Yeah. Oh, ideas brewing. We'll get to that. Um, next question is from Rai Guy. What are the, some of the worst fandoms? <laughs> this one. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's worse. Oh yeah, there's, there's definitely worse. Uh, mm. I don't know. It feels. Like, I'm all for a bitch fest, but honestly, A, I can't think of any one. Like, I would just blurt out a lot and it's probably offensive. B, I really don't feel like having that bitch fest today. We can bank it. Yeah, we'll pop that in the bank for later. Uh, his next question, though. Do you prefer video games with linear design or an open world concept? Well, look at me, I don't play video games. Open world. Yeah, you liked uh, definitely not Pokemon, right? I like video games in the real world. What? The game that's definitely not Pokemon. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Pokemon yeah, Bananza. That, that, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Have they expanded on that yet? Yeah, they did an expansion the other day. Mm. Uh, cool. I'm out already. I don't want to play anymore. I'd beat it. I'm not playing no more. Except you haven't. There's more now. DLC, uh, isn't it? I'm also going to play Elden Ring, but hey, here we are. Mm. There's two that's games that Ben plays, and it's open world games and sports games. Except when he finishes the free version that he got and doesn't want to do any more of it. That's when he doesn't play open world games. Question. Answer. How come when I'm playing Pokemon Go, I get to a fence and I can go over it? Yeah, where's Cut? Yeah, good point. Yeah. Imagine if they brought in HMs early. 
there would have been so many kids stuck on like the other side of the map <laughs> and can't work out how to get around. TMs took so long, you'd get a hundred dragon and just go, well, oh, doesn't have dragon move, transfer. <laughs> Um, next question is from Skull Taskmaster. What QCRs... Is this a new comment? New commenter? Uh, I think he is. Hi, Skull Taskmaster. I don't think he's a new listener, because he's not one of the new people that have come in recently. But yeah, I think it's one of the first times he started Thank uh, engaging. Thank you for commenting. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank you for being here this long, if you have. Mm. It's taking you this uh -huh. long to pipe up, though. Han Solo? I'm in this episode, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, if you're still here. <laughs> um, this, this is a top ten podcast of all time. I mean, I'm having a great time. <laughs> yeah, I am too. I don't know if it'll be like that on the other end of it, but we'll no, find it out. Won't, it won't be. <laughs> there was a point 20 minutes ago that my eyes got really heavy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're all in the same boat. Uh, anyway, the one Skull the Taskmaster's there. question is... He went... Keep on. Skull Taskmaster's question is, what QCRs are you wanting in the Rarity Bonanza? Um, well, we already said that that wouldn't. Dragon um, rulers. Controversial. Dragon rulers. Yeah, would be dragon good. rulers. Controversial yeah. statement. Uh, they could print my entire goat deck in QCR and I would not want it. Oh. Damn. Damn. It's not right. Like, I already have an all foiled out goat yeah, deck. Yeah, except not... for Metamorphosis. That's the only non foil I have in my deck. So it's like. I will take a metamorphosis printing, but like I still rather the supers. Snob. Um. Oh, premature burial might be nice. Yeah, I think I. Because I don't, ha I don't have a good rarity of that. Mm -hmm. I don't think ultra. Uh, yeah, it's had an ultra and a super. Yeah. Some of like the old power spells would be cool too, kind of like what they did with that Kyber collection a little while back. Oh, surely they print Pot of Greed and Graceful. Yeah, Pot of Greed, Graceful, Heavy Storm. BLS. BLS would be cool. The bigger one. Chaos Emperor Dragon. <gasps> QCR Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, that'd be gim, dope. Gim, 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 gim. That'd be dope. Yeah, I'd take one of those. Um, outside of that though, like I really don't want anything in the, the current game done. Maybe some of like the Garbo's fusions that you used for Metamorphosis, like Fusionist and um, Flame Ghost and Give stuff. Give us like a Headhuntress reprint. Hmm. The one goat card I don't own. And Quagga Beetle. Quagga Hercules? Oh, yeah, that one. We got that reprinted, remember? No, no, again. Okay. Thunder Dragon. Oh, yeah, that's Two headed Thunder Dragon? Oh, Thunder Dragon would be so dog, you have to pick up three. <laughs> oh, you just play two and hope you don't draw the other. <laughs> <laughs> Just got a birth of Graceful, it's fine. Yeah. Oh. New comment? Yeah. It's not our last one, but it's, oh, fuck, it's there. That's a long question. That's Fourth a question. Century. It is. It is from Falcon Waffles. Has he come with it before? I'm, they come into it before? I feel like we would Yeah, that is. Holy crap. It's it, a long it's, comment. It's two questions, to be fair. Hi, Falcon Waffles. All right. With Snake Eyes and now Fiendsmith archetypes becoming one card combos, at times. At times. And decks becoming extremely expensive to play in the current format. Will continuation will the continuations effect of expect I'm so confused. Will the Asking con Tyler, Jake to read along. Will the continuations effect of expensive core prices push average semi competitive players out of the game? No, I think it just pushes them more to like fringe tier. So like I don't know, like U Bell. I don't know, U Bell's kinda of expensive probably. Yeah. Like, like Ubel was sitting in that like sort of sweet spot, I think, for like the older, like the people that are more, more so have come from the anime and like it because of the anime, because it's related very heavily to the anime, all the supports around the anime, but it's also just very good. I feel like Six Samurai, woo! <laughs> I feel like uh, the deck build packs all have archetypes that kind of just work and like you're not going to be beating snake eyes every round at a ycs but if you're good enough you play enough you can top 32 like centurion gets through like i can't remember the last time josh spent money on his deck oh no i remember the last time yeah. it was because we had to buy the three of the link yeah he, he complained about it the whole fucking year <laughs> Them, yeah. I can't believe my card's because, expensive because they played in Snake Eyes now. Arr. I was like, well, you should have bought it six months also, ago when they printed it. He also, yeah, complained, that none of, $10. He also <laughs> complained that none of us bought that set so that he could then buy the card off us. Yes. Motherfucker. Buy is a loose term. He would have just borrowed them. He would have 
If it were me, he would have had to have bought them. And at a premium. Because fuck that guy. You know what the funniest thing is? So he asked me for one. Because I had one. I was like, no problem. And then I saw it was playing Snake Eyes and was like, you can't have this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I have changed my mind. Um, but yeah, yeah. Ca- casual players, I feel like, are, uh, are getting pushed aside for tops and stuff. But yeah. I don't think people are that pissed off about it. The attendance speaks for itself. Yeah, the attendance of YCS is in Europe and... Well, not Europe. Huh? Um, in America have been insane. Um, so... <laughs> so... Like, I don't think it's a question of, like, are they being pushed out of the game? I think it's definitely that, like, there's no sweet spot where, like, you can win with BA in the finals. Like, there's no, um, I want to say Jason Rose, but I'm sure that's not his name. Like, there's no... Jason! Jason! Is that his name? What's his fucking name? Who? The guy who topped with BA multiple times in um, Europe. I just can't remember his name. I know his last name is Rose. Anyway, the point I'm making is... British call him... I mean, I only know to these British, I don't know what he's like. Oh, I see. Wasn't he a commentator for a while? I feel like I'm just describing Benedict Cumberbatch now. What? I didn't know he played BA. Doesn't surprise yeah, me. He might have. But anyway, like, the, anyway. He played Penguins. Unsurprisingly, we've gone off top. That's <laughs> Wait, no, it isn't. Yes, it is. It is? It is, Thomas? Yes, it is. Uh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, anyway, the point I'm making is like, the. The meta at the moment is definitely a case of, like, you have to be playing within, like, two to possibly three decks to have a chance at, like, doing incredibly well. Or for, like, maybe the next two or three decks down, you have to be the best person in the room. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. I know. Then he became the commentator. That was a while ago. This was years ago, yes. He rose to the ranks. (laughs) Um... Yeah, like you have to be insanely good at the decks that you play. Like, TLDR isn't as big a win con when the decks are as powerful as they are now to what they were before. Like, you could get around someone not knowing what your deck was and cheat out a few games because your archetype was super niche. Now, the coverage of the meta is so wide that they don't give a fuck what your niche is. They'll beat you anyway. Yes. Did you mean cheat as an actual cheat? No. I mean, depending on who you talk about. Yeah. Uh, next question. Unless you had any other further points. <laughs> next question. With Ben enjoying his new vacuum cleaner, uh, he would like an update at the end of this. Yeah, the vacuum uh, cleaner's worked on real well. I, I, I vacuumed it, I said at the end of this. Up. Shut the fuck up. He's, done, he's multiple times as well. I hear him going daily. Yeah, he no, vacuumed before dinner. using the vacuum. <gasps> Anyway, with Ben enjoying his new vacuum, what appliances or item did you find really enjoyable to buy, but then told yourself, fuck, I'm getting old? Uh, He bought a pizza tray and a barista machine. I have pretty much overhauled, like, our entire kitchen over the course of the past three months. I'm going to buy a fridge on Monday (laughs) and a new washing machine as well. He'd be spending money. Yeah. But I it'll be miss, nice. I do miss the old microwave. The old mic isn't. Didn't you keep the old microwave? Yeah. Balcony microwave. Yeah, we don't have a balcony <laughs> microwave. It's next to the barbecue. You never know when you need to reheat pizza outside. Yeah. It's gonna come in handy tomorrow. But it was when I bought the barbecue and then was like, "Fuck yeah, I get the barbecue." Oh my god, I'm my father. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, I haven't gone to that part of my thirties yet of enjoying uh, barbecuing. Um. Appliances I've enjoyed. What's the it's it's golf barbecuing and what's the third one? Narcotics. I mean no, no it's no, not. No, 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 no. <sighs> well, I remember. Anyway, but I hate golf and cars. I have... Yeah, yeah, I know you don't like I know you didn't I know how you feel about golf. Yeah, hate golf. I mean cars would make sense. But I'm also not like that into cars. I was more into cars when I was younger. Same. Um, I remember being able to fix things. Yeah, now I'll just throw my wallet at it and it makes me sad. I was stoked with the air fryer that then had a hole burned into it. That one? Or the, the other air fryer? Yeah, yeah I set yeah. her air fryer on fire. You fry too much, yeah. 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 I was quite impressed. I've been paranoid ever since. Nothing else has caught fire, though. No, that's it was positive. Because, so we bought, we bought like a big fry pan. 
and then when I was using the fry pan, the heat goes from out of the fry pan. The air fryer was right next to the thing. And I'm like, oh. Couldn't stand the heat. Yeah. I, don't, I don't trust it. I, I mean, when Couldn't it, stand I, the heat, so now it's no longer in the kitchen. Actually, I'm giving you shit, but I technically broke our air fryer as well. That air fryer's broken. I need we to replace had, that too. We had like a, a, I think it was a Ninja brand one, and it had two drawers. Oh. So you could like split your cooks up. No, no, that's not why it has two drawers. It's because you pull both drawers out at once and go, Ninja! <laughs> anyway, it had two drawers. I'd put chicken wings in one side, and I'd put, um, I think, potato gems I in another. I thought you were going to say a different type of chicken in the other. I was like, yeah, you really did to split that, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I'm a connoisseur. <laughs> So, yeah, and then by the time I'd taken them both out and, like, just let the machine turn off, we went to use it the next time, and it just wouldn't turn back on. And then it was still well within warranty. Could have called someone up, tried to get it replaced, didn't. And then got another one for Christmas. I gotta buy another one of those. That's a good... There's an air fryer just here off camera. Yeah. It's a, been a great air fryer, but for some reason the air fryer setting doesn't work anymore. So now it's just a box. No, no, like no, it no, has like a convection oven, it has a pizza setting, it has baking, it does a whole bunch of See, things. Maybe that's the problem, it's trying to do too much. Yeah, for some reason, just like if you set it to air fryer, the elements don't heat up, but the, the wind still blows. And it's like, Ooh. so you think it's working, and then you open it and you're like, this is blowing cold air. This is just a fan. <laughs> anyway. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it thinks it's an air conditioner. Um, Next question. Be, well, hang on, I haven't fully explained the um, appliances I'm excited about. Um, We're an hour and ten minutes. Yeah, well, another minute's not going to kill you. Okay. Yeah, it might. Um, I do need to get a new coffee machine. That's one thing I am excited about, except I'm not, like, fully into coffee. I'm not, like, super pretentious about it, thankfully. Because, like, the amount of videos I've seen on YouTube of, like, them being complete wankers about their you coffee, gotta, I you fucking gotta, hate you it. Tap Tap it. You got tap, 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 tap. Yeah. I don't know what that does. You know, I'm actually disappointed that I haven't had true satisfaction from an appliance. Oh. You're too young at heart. Must be. I mean, I pre I mean, I would like a good like lawnmower or something, but I don't have a lawn. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Doesn't need a lawnmower though. Maybe a whipper snipper. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's not what I want. Yeah, I saw this. Yeah, yeah. Well, the last yeah. question. Okay. Last question comes from Jesse. Why are we tired? Oh, no. How, how was GoFest? Uh, Not as good as that, apparently. A 98 shiny. It's okay, Bragg. We'll get shiny. There's plenty of time That's tomorrow. the same. Um, uh, the 98 Necrozma is the same as the Hondo when you merge it with uh, whatever the other two bitches are. Well done on your score, oh, Jesse. Oh, so that's a that functional Hondo. Yes. Damn. But... He he was playing Com Day in uh, or GoFest in not weather boosted Necrozmas. Ta! Sorry, Jesse, that's the reason why I wasn't joining a bunch of your your invites. Weather boost is overrated anyway. Yeah, but I didn't want to have to pump it later. It's only four. It's only ten power ups. Yeah, that's like week forty. I currently have like five hundred Necrozma. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah. <laughs> this is not an issue. But with baseballs, it doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> Ben effectively becoming the millionaire is so, like, I don't want to pay tax on these many candies. I got a Hondo Necrozma. I got three shinies. Um, three shiny Necrozmas. Uh, I didn't get a lot of shinies that I wanted in terms of like just general shinies. Yeah. But I got a course law, which I was really happy about. The course law looks nice. But every one that I was like, I'm going to chase this one specifically, I just didn't get. Yeah. Um, yeah. I got the shiny Pikachus. That was good. Got a hundo of one of them. And yeah. I got two sun crowns with no moon crown. I need to trade a moon crown for a sun crown. Shiny. And the Crosma candy. We'll trade. Ready to go. Just got to get the energy and, you know, two hundos. I got one hundo. I'm halfway there. I got. Whoa. We're going to do like 30 to 40 raids tomorrow. Easy. It's a lot. Uh, but yeah, I got. It's not that much. We, how many do you think we did today? Well, I didn't do as many as you. Oh, yeah, you got a half five. Um, but I got one hundo and one shiny. Um, I've got a couple of shinies that I'm happy about. Uh, shiny Gligar looks really cool. Fun fact, your phone's listening to you, and if you tell it you want a refund, you'll get a shiny. I or a hundo. Say, yeah, I guess I didn't that, say that. That worked for us. That was my problem. A lot today. 
Yeah, the comedic timing of uh, Shani's and Hundo's appearing was yeah, Luke phenomenal. Yeah. We just finished a five-minute conversation about how we were fairly certain that there, Shani and Crosman just wasn't in the game. Um, and we are midway through finishing that conversation, and I just went, oh, it's not locked. Try it here. I mean, I could have told you. I got it at 7 o'clock this morning. And then in my first Buzzwall raid ever, um, someone asked just about when the hatch screen came out, what does the shiny Buzzwall look like? And I just went, like this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get shiny bus all yet. Mm. Uh, but yeah, um, to answer your question, GoFest went great. Um, I had a great day. Well, first half of it went great. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Yeah. Shooting the Double Diggle podcast. Yeah. Brags on it this week. Is that a thing? Yeah, I do it once a month we are, where we just go over the, all the news and stuff. Oh, I've I been was... putting in the, t- uh, the Cowboy for Game podcast feed as well for... Yes. Not the Yu-Gi-Oh! one, the Pokemon one. Oh, see, so yeah. I've, the uh, one that Blake abandoned. Ah, yeah. Shocking. Uh, but anyway, that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. <gasps> Jump to our Discord. Ask us some questions. Ben has gasped. I just realised that we get another wave of mythical support. Yay. Yeah, yeah, there's more rules. And we look forward to talking about them a long, long time from now. But for the moment, peace.